All right, we have uh, Coach George Galnovich here for his uh, weekly update with the team. Uh, Coach, just uh, two big wins over Duke and uh, and over Mount St. Mary's last night. Just uh, tell us a little bit about uh, where you see the team right now. Uh, well, I mean, the, the Duke win was a good one for us. Uh, I, I thought we were very disciplined. Um, I, I thought we were uh, very resolute, you know. Um, determined that was a, for a young team, really determined to win the game and, and kind of do it however we needed to do it. Um, and, and I thought we had very good spells during the game. The, the, the sequence to score against Duke was excellent. And then to defend the lead for 30 minutes um, uh, against a lot of long throws and restarts. So the guys did real well there. Uh, Mount St. Mary's was a little bit of a different game where we had to push the tempo because I don't think they were, Mount St. Mary was used to the tempo or could, or could carry the tempo of the game. And so we don't want to get caught up in a slow game. And so we jumped on him quickly, and Will Bates was, uh, did, did us a lot of good and, and himself a lot of good by getting a couple of goals. It really lifted our team, but I think more importantly got him going too. So that, that was a real positive. Um, and the, the other good part about the Mount St. Mary game was we, we got a lot of minutes for guys who haven't been playing and not too many minutes for guys who have been logging in a lot of minutes. You start six freshmen against Duke. Were, were you pleased with how they responded to their first taste uh, of ACC action. Yeah, I mean that for me, like I said, it was a, a unusually uh, um, determined um, and composed group for an ACC game. Uh, in particular, once we scored the goal and had to kind of make sure we didn't, you know, concede a goal, hand manage the game the right way for the last 30 minutes, being up a goal with a lot of young guys on the field, they did great. Uh, talk a little bit about Will Bates. He really seems to start. Uh, rounding into form here yeah. uh, a after missing the first game and missing the end of last year. Uh, and I think, uh, I think we've done a good job at um, bringing him around instead of just throwing him out there. You know, um, you know, it, last night was the first game he started um, in the regular season, so we've been bringing him on, giving him a few, you know, more and more minutes. Um, and, and to his credit, he's responded really well to that as well. I mean, that's not easy, you know, being a going in your senior year, being who he is not starting in games, you know, when people have all these expectations. So he handled it, has handled himself really well um, and now has got himself going, you know, and so that's a good thing going into to Friday. You guys have Xavier coming up on uh, on Friday. To the average fan, they might not know much about Xavier, yeah. but they're a pretty good side. Just uh, talk a little bit about them and what they bring to the table. Well, they're undefeated and I believe they're ranked. Um, and. Um, and again, I, th I think they were the A-10 champs last year, so and, and a playoff team. So to, th that's an ACC quality opponent that, that we're preparing for on, on Friday night. Uh, just announced today, uh, Notre Dame coming into the league. Uh, we don't know when just yet, but uh, talk about what they bring to uh, the ACC and to ACC soccer. I mean, the best way for me to answer that is, you know, if I had to pick, you know, two or three teams from the whole country to, to you know, invite into our conference, but specifically into men's soccer, they'd be one of them. Um, I really, really have a lot of respect for uh, their program, their coach, uh, the school, and everything they represent. They'll be a great, great addition to men's soccer. Great. Thanks, George. Yeah.